Hey guys, got another malware removal video here for you. This one's called Antivira 2011. As you can see, it's a rogue, and uh, there's tons of these types of things on the internet at the moment, and they're infecting loads of systems. And people do believe it or not, fall for this type of thing and actually pay for them. So first off, before we start, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample, because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So thanks to those over there. And also, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to remove it. It's pretty straightforward, really. Now, some of them are more difficult than others, but this one is pretty straightforward. Now, what they do is they generally disable pretty much all the functions on the computer, as in Task Manager, um, the Internet, and also Command Prompt and Registry Editor and all this type of stuff. And this is what they're trying to do, inconvenience you to make you pay for the software. Now, the best way to get rid of these is to reboot into safe mode with networking, and I will put the instructions up on the screen as we speak now, so you see them there. And just follow that and remove them from there because this doesn't run in safe mode so you can kill it very easily so I'm going to be showing you how to do this in desktop mode anyway but it's the same sort of principle anyway so as you can see down the bottom here we have a little flashing uh, red cross with the uh, security sign there and uh, these are actually fake infections none of these are on the system this is how they coach you into paying for it and then we're going to go to the update center here and if you click on update now and say yes it will say the license is missing and that's because you haven't purchased it basically this is another way of luring you in and then you pay for it by saying purchase license and then you're confronted with basic edition or professional edition they're both crap so don't pay for them as I said they are fake and uh, this is how they get the uh, money off you so the firewall part is pretty convincing and all of a sudden the last part here is the about bit and as you can see, there's a couple of little questions they've answered in case you've got any doubt still. And it says, why is Antivirus 2011 one of the best antiviruses today? Because it offers daily updates and uses the best virus scanning methods. Well, this is another sweetener, really. It's just to calm you down, to make you feel confident about the software, and then you're going to pay for it. This is a part of the scam. So don't fall for that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of it. So... First off, what we're going to do is go to my computer and then see C drive and see where this actual virus lives. And it's in the actual Windows directory here. This is where it actually lives, inside here. Now to see this virus, you're going to need to go to Organize, File, uh, Folder and Search Options there, and then come up to the View tab. Click on that, and then you want to show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives and also take the tick out of hide extensions to for known file types once you've done that click apply and OK you can put these back once you've finished so the next thing I want to do is go to date modified once you've done that you should see now two files inside here now this is just this type of rogue and there will be different locations and different files that you may have for different file, uh, viruses that you have but this one has two inside here and it will give you the date that it's been in, uh, installed which is always a good um, idea of actually finding out what it is now as you can see we can see the .exe here which means we can actually right click on this now and we could actually take the executable part which is the .exe and rename this to whatever we like to actually stop it from running next time we reboot okay that's one way of killing it I won't do the other one because I'll show you another method um, but I will put this back just for now so, so we can see what it is so I'll put that back just for now okay so that's back to normal but that is a way of doing it renaming is a good way of doing these files okay another good way is running software and we're gonna do that right now so I'm just gonna open up software now this doesn't really stop much really um, process explorer I can run from the desktop just like so and if I come down I can actually see the actual culprit here and this is it here so you could kill the process from here or you can use other programs like UVK you've seen me use these programs before very powerful tool I'm going to run this again this will run from the desktop and the reason why I'm saying you to go to safe mobile networking is because some variants you may have other different types of uh, malware or viruses on the system which may be stopping you from running it on the desktop like I'm doing so it's always best to run it from that location 
Okay, so here we have um, UVK. I'm going to go to Process uh, Manager here and look for the actual culprit. And there you go, it's there. That's the actual culprit there. So if I pull this down here, you'll see this suddenly disappear off the screen, and that's because I've now killed it. So what I'm going to do is come up to Kill Process and Delete File. I'm going to say yes to this, and then that's the end of that one. Okay, so now he's gone. We should be able to run virus scanners and stuff like that from here, okay? So let me just go back to that location here and this this file here it's left this one behind and that's because that wasn't a running process I'm not sure if we can delete this outright which we can and that's because the process wasn't running it was just in there done all it was doing and as you can see if I come down to the bottom there it's now disappeared and the next best thing to do is you could run virus scanners from um, UVK if you wanted to And the uh, way you do that is basically come down to automatic uh, anti-malware scans and you can just select which scans you wish to run, okay? Update before running Malwarebytes, always run Malwarebytes is a really good tool and it does rid a lot of actual infections off the system. And we've got Hitman Pro, another good tool there, and Super Anti Spyware. I'm just going to run Malwarebytes at this stage and also run TDSS Killer. I'm going to automatically delete the threats as we go along. I'm not going to run any scripts or anything like that, but you could do that if you had issues with a task manager or anything like that. But we're just going to run it as it is right now. So I'm going to start this, and as you can see, it will start to download and then it will start to run Malwarebytes. Just let that run, and that will clean off any infections. And as you can see, it's starting to pick up infections on the system. Found six. Now, there is other stuff on this machine, granted. There may be other files that I've been using for malware. So don't just take this for, it's just this virus that's got six on it. Okay, so it's now starting to run the scans. It's found a load of stuff here, as you can see. And it will remove those files automatically. It's now going to run TDSS Killer like so just to make sure there's no uh, rootkits that have been dropped on the system by that type of uh, rogue and that does happen sometimes now you could run other scans that was a quick scan that I did it's always advisable to run full scans and also run other software run more than one piece of software don't just run rely on malware bytes run super anti spyware and also hitman pro and other types of software you've seen me using okay to make sure that system is fully clean you also want to check for rootkits as well with programs like Gema and stuff like that just to make sure there's no rootkits on the system and that's pretty much it for this one as you can see we've got our system back up and running internet's back up and running and that's pretty much it so thanks again for watching guys hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now